Hey guys, it's Mitchell, and today we're going to be doing a video on how to make these uh, glass dome eyes uh, out of plastic, not glass, but you get the gist. First up, I did not come up with this design. I found this from the Tiny One Badger, and I'm going to leave her video in the description below. Um, but I have made a few adjustments to how she does it, and so I just wanted to do my own on the matter. So yeah, these are proof of concept. I'm going to be using them in this fursuit head here. Uh, they're not done, um, obviously, and they're cross-eyed a little bit when you use them together in this head here. Um, but even before I finished doing it, I kind of wanted to add on to uh, Tiny Badger's video on some other elements on how to make the irises in the middle um, and just kind of bits and pieces and how I did it and thought it'd be a good video, uh, kind of introduce you guys to maybe the content I'm making nowadays, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, this video will be just me talking over pre-recorded uh, footage because I got up one morning uh, about a month ago going, yes, I'm going to record a video right now. I did it, uh, I made this eye right here, I hit the stop button and realised I don't remember anything I said in that video, realizing I probably just rambled for the last 15 minutes. Uh, so I decided I'm just going to try and uh, fix that with the uh, old footage, new audio, uh, and less bed hair, as you can see in the video. I mean, when is my hair not horrible, but uh, it's worse in the video you're about to see. So yeah, let's get on to that now. Oh, First up, apologies for probably the focus messing around and just not having a tripod. I've broken three this year, uh, and while setting this video up, uh, I also broke another one. First, you got to get yourself some Christmas globes that split in half. I bought mine on eBay for about 10 bucks for a pack of 20. Uh, these are about 10 centimeters in diameter. Uh, you can get a couple of sizes, but I really wanted mine big. And then next up, you have the whites. I use a plastic plate uh, that doesn't have any ridges at the bottom. Uh, you can usually use cardboard or paper, but I feel like plastic has uh, the most longevity. So really, all you got to do is you have to make your mark on the plate, obviously. You're going to make a circle, trace it out. Don't use a marker, use a pencil. Uh, but this was a proof of concept for me, uh, so I didn't really care how it turned out. I just needed to make sure it worked. And it did. So, now that you have your template, you're going to cut it out. Oh boy, here's my sleep-deprived hair on face. Anyway, you just cut out the plastic plate uh, into the circle. Uh, you don't have to be too neat with the edges, uh, seeing as they will go just over that plastic piece, and so that gives you a bit of a ridge that you can glue it down later. Uh, so now, you've got yourself your white and your plastic, and it fits together, and you're going to need a pupil. With the pupil, uh, you're just going to have to draw out how you want it to look, uh, just the hollowed out bit. Uh, I already had one, and so I'm just going to trace the last one so they're identical. I suggest to do this with you too. Once you've done your first one, make sure you have a copy, so when you do your second eye, you can have them the same. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm looking around for, but, uh, oh, oh no. What, what's that for? Okay, cool. But once you do have that pupil drawn out, you're going to have to cut out the middle. So what I'm doing here is wrong, and I will fix it in a second, but scissors usually end up bending the plastic. So I start with a knife. Um, the scissors will be needed later, but you first need to make that first incision with a knife very carefully. Uh, don't, don't do what I'm doing. That, that's just... D don't do this at home, kids. Uh, but no. Oh... I'm just really flinging that knife around. Oh, I did not realize. Oh, that's so close to my face. Anyway, uh, once you have made the first kind of incision, you're going to use scissors and you're going to cut around. Uh, I'm just distracted by this idiot's technique. Oh, good. He's getting the scissors. Oh, good. Okay. Use the scissors in a correct function. Uh, to kind of cut around that section so you have the inner eye uh, all cut out, so you have the hollow. Now that we have the hollowed eyes, we can start on the pupils. 
So my dumbass actually didn't uh, move the camera, so it was just my face staring at the floor blankly for about five minutes. Uh, so you're just going to enjoy this gif. So pretty much this is where my way deviates from tiny badges. Uh, for tiny badges, uh, you will draw your eye uh, instead of cutting out that big circle. And then you'll cut around all the color uh, for the black. And then you'll use window tint uh, to be able to see through it. You can go check out her video to actually see how that's done. But in mine, I'm doing buckram fabric. I feel the advantage of uh, Buckram is that, one, I feel like it probably has a wider uh, range of view, seeing as it's more of the eye that you can see through instead of just the black parts, and also you can really work with the style and the colours if you don't have to worry about any of it being black uh, for the window tint. This you can just paint everything, any colour, you can make any shape, and it's all going to be able to be seen through. So I'm not going to teach you how to actually uh, make the buckram fabric or paint it. Just on YouTube, check any of the fursuit eye tutorials and you can kind of pick the style you like. Really, I just get buckram, I paint it uh, one or two colors, and then I use a Sharpie uh, to make that uh, dark pupil in the middle. And then I use white paint or I use uh, a white paint marker to make the shine. Now you have your eyes out, you're going to cut them, do not cut them exactly to the size you want them because you need to stick them over your base. Now for this I'm going to be using tape, you can use hot glue, you can use a glue stick, that works sometimes. I feel tape is the best option, um, I feel like it's only a little bit scratchy so I'm thinking about trying to make a cover for it, uh, but really all you're going to do is you're going to glue it or stick it on. I didn't show this once again because I'm an idiot, but I'll show you what it looks like at the end. As you can see here, I've finished it. It's gonna be flipped around in a second and you'll see I just used tape. I'm still able to see out of it. I've cut it uh, so it's all nice. And now you're going to glue it on to your piece. Now with this, you are gonna to wanna to use hot glue. That being said, I am using tape in this one and I don't actually show you how to hot glue it, but really you just want to put them together, make sure they sync up, and then you're going to put a little bit of hot glue around the edges. Uh, just make sure that ridge that we made before is there and just glue it down nicely. Here it is tape, just as the demonstration. Uh, your hot glue may stick over the edges a little bit like mine with the tape, uh, but when it's in the head, as you're about to see, you're not going to be able to see that because the eyes obviously don't go all the way through. Uh, so probably about to pop it in. There you go. So once it's popped in, you can't see any of those imperfections you did before. You can't see the ridges. You can't see that hot glue or tape. Uh, one thing I can suggest, which I didn't do in this video, is you might want to uh, paint around the bottom of those eyes in a white paint, just about two centimeters up, just to give more of a follow me effect. But I feel like even without that, the follow me effect works really well with these eyes. So that's really all there is to it. I think these are really good simple eyes. They're pretty much just a 2D tuning eye with a top on them and I feel like they give a really cool look. They look a bit more uh, kimono style. They're a lot easier than doing uh, 3D follow me eyes I feel and I just really like the look of them. Anyway, that's all for the video. I hope you liked. Uh, please like and subscribe for more of this kind of content. Uh, if you need any help, comment down below, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.